Hello everybody. Today's class is on classifying species diversity. This is based on the earlier class alpha, beta and gamma diversity. So check out those videos to know more about them. Now here in this video we are going to classify some species based on the diversity of uh, alpha, beta, gamma that we talked earlier. First of all there is four regions hypothetical species the woodland habitat the i can use the mouse see hypothetical species the woodland habitat the head grow habitat and open field habitat so i'm going to talk it out about these things so here we can see there's are a b c d e f g h i j k l m n around uh, 14 species right hypothetical species there are 14 of them and uh, there are in woodland there are about 10 and uh, head grove there are about 7 and open field there are about 3 these are the species found in these three regions so what did i say about alpha diversity the species found in a particular habitat so for woodland habitat there are 10 so alpha diversity is 10 head grove it is 7 and open field it is 3 that is the alpha diversity of these regions and let's go to the beta diversity we can see when we compare woodland and head grow there are some organisms that are found in both regions so for beta we have to find the unique ones so remove those five common ones and count the unique ones that are only found in uh, woodland and head grow a to e are only found in woodland and k l are only found in head grow that means there are about seven of them that is only found in these two regions so for the beta diversity of woodland and head grow is seven likewise we can find between head grow and open habitat there are about eight unique organs see this one the mouse this one is common so we exclude that and count the rest one two three four five six and seven and eight between these two regions between head grove and open field there are eight much easy to understand between woodland and open there are about three here and there is no common with this thing right and there are 10 here so there are 13 of them and what did we say about gamma diversity it is a total number of species and we are counting from 1 to 10 and there is 11 here and another 3 here so total there are 14 we don't count two of them just one two three this we already counted here so we are not going to count that four five six seven eight nine and these four are already counted here so we are going from 10 11 12 13 and 14 that is the gamma diversity equals 14 of them and that is the main idea you have to understand about these alpha beta gamma diversities classification and uh, this picture take a bit of time and uh, try to use the earlier knowledge to make sure this is exactly what it is said just go through them and uh, try to find if this is exactly what you can uh, what you understood from the earlier concepts and i guess that is it for today's class thank you and have a nice day do check out the other videos if you do not remember the alpha beta gamma diversity and have a good day